Hey everybody, this is Andy from Tennis Euphoria and if you're anything like me then you've probably watched the unbelievable feats that some pros make in matches and wondered what racket they are using to help them with their brilliance and I've certainly spent a lot of time researching what pros play with to see if that could help me make some decisions. You quickly learn that pros are not using the rackets that they are endorsing uh, very often and you also quickly see that um, pro stock rackets are particularly expensive so you become a little bit downhearted about that but then you also come to realize that many pros are simply playing with sticks that they are used to and in that gives you some hope because you wonder well if i get hold of some of those old retail rackets that they still use and customize them up to their specs can i get a taste of what their rackets might be can i learn from it can i make some decisions about the racket that's right for me that's inspired this mini series on the channel there are some pros out there where you can work out what sticks that they are using there's plenty of forums online and if you look and do your research you can typically work out what people are playing with and because i'm quite a big fan of his um unconventional but highly effective and flat style today we're going to have a look at daniel medvedev's racket and can i create a cheap copy of what he is using first look it looks like medvedev is using the technofiber 305 rs that is what he endorses what is actually using there seems to be consensus is either the technofiber t fight 305 dynacore or the perhaps the 2013 t fight now you can pick up some pro stock of the dynacore versions so maybe it is indeed medvedev's racket but also i did notice that the 2013 model used to get some plaudits because it was tour prepared injected with silicone many thought so i think also that's quite credible that he could be using that 2013 model what is for sure is that the racket he's using is actually 95 square inches as those two lines were not the 98 um, of the current rs and it's likely to be not as stiff as the current rs models I set about looking for a cheap version of that racket and I lucked out and found a 2013 uh, T Fight 305 in pretty good condition on eBay and I picked it up for about 40 UK pounds. The dev uses Technofiber Razor Code as his string and he strings it up at 49 pounds so I put that into my new Medvedev stick and his reported weight is 350 grams so i set about adding a lot of weight to the racket to take it up close to his specs knowing that medvedev used to play with the wilson 6195 which is notoriously head light i elected to put most of the weight actually all of the weight onto the handle under the grip of my racket to make it exceptionally head light didn't have choice of grip size in the racket that I found it was a four and that combined with the extra lead would have been way too big for me I usually play with a three and a thin over grip so I replaced the grip with a really handy and um, thin grip that Torna make which really help you feel the bevels but that combined with the lead underneath it and a 25% thinner over grip gave me something that I could certainly play with with my hands which are no doubt much smaller than Medvedev's and here it is different paint job of course but something that is likely to be similar to what Medvedev is using and how does it play on court well I have to say I really enjoyed hitting with this stick I'm a fan of 18 by 19 string patterns. I think that that string pattern is a really good one. You get a little bit more lift and clearance over the net than you do with an 1820, and you get a little bit more punch than you would from a uh, 1822, but you're also certainly getting more control than you would from a typical 1619, in my view. And that combined with the 95 square inch head, as you probably know if you watch this channel, is a big factor for me with regards to control. Then you have a nice controlled setup with a little bit of uh, power and also lots of plow because of that weight if you can move that 350 grand stick through the air 
Mine suffered a little bit with um, stability in some areas and certainly if this was a serious project I probably would distribute that weight a little bit differently and put some at three and nine to help with that. But overall the response when you hit the sweet spot with the racket was pretty much guaranteed I found and really enjoyable and the feel in the racket which I estimate to be possibly about a 63 RA was fantastic and it was very comfortable uh, possibly it does have some silicon injected in to the handle I can't tell because you can't open it up on this version the only area that I struggled was with surf so getting that weight of racket above my head and through the air at pace is difficult and it certainly led me to realize that actually weight unstrung of 320 grams is probably the sort of tipping point for me anything heavier than that and then i'd probably lose some pace through the air which is taking the power down on my serve and that was noticeable in playing some games against um, my friend pete who's a much better player than me it was easy for him to get on my serve and usually i'd get a little bit more joint uh, generally in play from the baseline i was really clicking with the racket and I can really see why Medvedev relies on it and with his skill, movement, power can really cause all the damage that he does. Remove some of the weight, brought it down to about 333 grams and that was just fantastic. The racket played really well. Obviously the specs were more in my wheelhouse and I much preferred this version actually to the XTC and the RS versions out now. It's almost sort of simply beautiful, has a better feel less stiffness which i really appreciate and i have to say i was left thinking that if this was a current racket on the market with that weight um, with the same technology in it um, it would certainly compete with my racket of choice of being something that i could play with the other thing that i took from it was that 49 pounds is a really credible poundage i usually pay uh, play at 53 to 57 pounds and I did find that reducing that tension a bit gave me probably a little bit more pop from the racket. And I think the feel was enhanced actually. You felt that you really got a little bit more feedback as the ball really dug into the strings. And whilst the strings moved a little more, I was really impressed by the 49 pounds and will certainly experiment with that in my racket of choice too. So overall, great experiment really enjoyed it for 59 pounds i've had a little bit of a medvedev experience certainly the weight is too much for me to handle he is a million times better than me he's obviously much bigger much more of an athlete than i am but certainly the 95 square inch head combined with the 18 by 19 string pattern um, and the weighty feel with um, the RA in this racket I, I think is fantastic and I can really see why he's enjoying it. I'll push on with this series to try and identify other pros that are using um, older retail stocks that can be customised to give their experience. I've got a few more in mind already but my next proper review will be for the new Yonex V-Core 9.5 and that will be out next week or so. So I hope you enjoyed this little insight and I look forward to seeing you again soon.